Thank you for being here. How great does that look when you come out and see all that? Hot. Yeah, hot is exactly right. <laughs> exactly right. We got a lot to talk about. Uh, since I last saw you, you got engaged to the lovely Megan Fox. Thank you. Congratulations. Great. Yeah. Congratulations. It's great. Also, uh, your latest album, Mainstream Sellout, uh, came out in March and went right to number one. Not too shabby, bud. Number one, not too shabby. Yeah. And on June 8th, you're going to kick off a global tour. Global. This is your uh, first big arena tour. Uh, yeah. Venues are uh, sold out in a day, by the way. Mm -hmm. Dude, you couldn't be hotter right now. Uh, oh, you're stroking my ego. Sorry about that. I apologize. Oh, uh, awesome. uh, what, what are the shows going to be like with well, your arena tours? Uh, you know, if I, you know how most like shows have like big LED screens and you know all, all that stuff. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, we scratched all that. We're like a good, good showman just needs a show. So. But you've played kind of every venue out there. Dude, I can tell you Wi-Fi codes to like uh, bars in Blackfoot, <laughs> Idaho. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like, yeah, you have those Wi-Fi yeah, codes. I, yeah, I like to tell you the door codes to some of these so like venues. So you've seen like, it all. Yeah, I mean, all of them. Wow. Are Except you the arenas, so I'm excited. Yeah. I was going to say that. that must be, you know what? There's a quote that I'm sure you heard this, but I just have to tell you that Mick Jagger said something about you recently. Uh, can I read it to you? Please. In rock music, in rock music, you need energy. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, you need energy, and there have not been a lot of new rock singers around. Now, there are a few. You have Youngblood and Machine Gun Kelly. That kind of post-punk vibe makes you think there still is a, a bit of life to rock and roll. Mick Jagger! All right. Mick All right. Jagger! Yeah. How does that feel? What, what, what did you hear? When did you hear that he said that? On a bad day. That's a, that's a good day to hear it. Absolutely. It yeah. was like, uh, it was a day, I, I'm, I'm polarizing the people for some reason. So there was a lot of, uh, like, you, you can just feel a lot of hate coming at you sometimes. And I just remember, like, I was feeling it that morning. And then I read that quote. And then I just said, I didn't say it. <laughs> I didn't say it. I mean, yes, he said it, not me. Yeah, I mean, That's got to make you feel fantastic. Yeah, it was great. Have you ever met Mick Jagger? No, but it would be hard for me to like be across from him and not do this. Yeah, <laughs> and just do it, because you want to do you yeah. start doing the rooster with him. Yeah, I might. Yeah. <laughs> you have to kind of do it when you see him. Yeah, he's that. Yeah, that's the way. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You got to do that. <laughs> Uh, congrats on, on Good Morning. Uh, I, uh, it's in select theaters and on demand now. Uh, morning, by the way, is spelled M-O-U-R. Yes. And uh, yeah, Good Morning. It, it's a comedy that you wrote mm -hmm. based on a text that you got from, yeah. a, from a girlfriend? From Megan. From Megan? Yes. Oh. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a one-woman man. Of course you are. Yeah. So you got a text from Megan, and, and, you, and so it just... It, what happened? You just spir spiraled out? Yeah, it like... It started with like Megan's very just in nature. She's like, that that's where her head's always at. It's the the text. It was this long paragraph. It like started with like, a raven came and sat next to me in a tree, and then you know it was just all this stuff. And then she got on a plane and went to Europe. It didn't take her phone, and I was just like, what is that? Like how, you can't you can't leave me with this. Like and it was right when I was when we were starting to like be serious and. Uh, I just like, took dope. the message to all my friends who aren't in relationships for relationship advice, which You're is like, like great. And they were like, uh, thing, like yeah, they were good, like, dude. that's not good, dude. <laughs> and now after doing all this press for the movie, I'm like, why did I write them? Like, I, like, like, instead of just waiting to talk about it, I like got manic and wrote a whole movie and like got all this cast involved <laughs> and like spent the studio's money. And I was just like, I should, I should have just waited a week and talked, but. Yeah, and talked to her, yeah. But yeah. you turned out with a great product. Yeah, yeah. Uh, When you do these uh, movies, it's a big deal. You, you also play it in, in front of audiences, like test audiences. Mm. And you were telling me there's, uh, there's a couple things that got cut from this movie oh, yeah. th that were high, high budget yeah. things, like yeah. big budget stuff. I mean, like, yeah. What, what were they, like CGI? No, no, we were like, let's just go real. So we, we had a, a, a $50,000 Lobster, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we spent fifty thousand dollars between this lobster and a, a and an electric eel. You spent fifty thousand dollars on this lobster. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, is is there a picture of the eel as well? Yeah, yeah. The, but it might have wow. gone to the LED yep. lights that are put in the, this this. None of which either of these make an appearance in the movie. They all got cut because we like screened it. 
And they had like a 15 minute section because we thought it was so funny. We were like, oh, this is this, this is lobster crush. section is gonna crush. Like, and, just, and it did the opposite. Everyone <laughs> left with the only note pretty much for the whole screen was like, great, like f laughed my ass off. Why was there a, this lobster? <laughs> Scene that was 15 minutes. Like what? <laughs> where, where, I hated it. Where is the puppet now? We don't know. You know what? We probably need our money back. It's like I. I, <laughs> where is, I, I feel like I've it. seen five of these backstage at your show. Yeah, like, we make them. Yeah, we yeah. don't. We don't have fifty thousand dollar lobster. It puppets, was for yeah. puppeteer costs too. Wowzers. Because they, they, and because I was, we were super meticulous. Like we need its claws to move. We need its mouth to move. We gave it abs. <laughs> abs. <laughs> I mean, this is a, well. It's getting its play tonight. <laughs> there we go. That's the investment was kind of worth it. Uh, your 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 character in the, is trying to get an audition for the role of Batman mm. uh, in this movie. Yeah. Did you know that the Batman was coming out? No. When you were when you were writing this? No. It no. was just like it's, it's very serendipitous. It just worked out like that. And it's it's a crazy story because Batman, the theme, like Batman and the the entity just kept popping up because. You know, the Batman came out um, like a month before this movie came out, and we were like, "Oh my God, that's great! This is crazy!" And then also like a month ago, I was having my birthday party, and uh, you know, there was this one Easter where I was like, "Hey, Pete, you, you gotta come! You know, let's go to my friend's house for Easter." And he like pulled up, and he had 40s, and he was like, "Let's do this thing!" And we went, and it was Sandra Bullock's house, and like we walked in, and it's like Jen Aniston, and like all of these like, and and, and Pete was like. Why would you do this to me? We look so stupid. Like, we have 40 houses and we're at Sandra Bullock. Like, why didn't you tell me this is where we're going? America's sweetheart. And so then we, uh, so then he, it's like my birthday last month and he texts me. He's like, hey, I'm about to come to your party. Can I bring a, a plus one? And I was like, yeah, of course. And he pulls up and his plus one is, is Robert Pattinson. And I was like, you brought Batman to my <laughs> like, and then like, Surprise! Yeah. And yeah. then it's so funny, like, Everyone would just kept coming up like, dude, is Batman at your birthday party? And like, it's funny when you become Batman because no one refers to you anymore as your actual name. You're just Batman. Yeah, then you, for the rest of your life, you're Batman. You're Batman. Yeah. Did you know Robert before? I, yeah, I'd see, like, again, like, just always just out just seeing him and stuff like that. But yeah. this was, uh, it's just, but now he's Batman. So I'm just like, what up, dude? I know we know each other, but <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. you're kind of yeah. Batman now. Now you're Batman so, yeah, now, yeah. So. Uh, well, can we set up the film any, uh, for, for anyone that uh, wants to know more about the film? Good no, morning. Just, no, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. No, sorry, I'm yeah. no one go see it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's a Every, comedy. It's, it's a comedy. It's, it's, it's a comedy. Yes. Uh, it kind of just goes back to the classic days of, like, gag humor and, like, just, you know, $50,000 lobster puppets that uh, <laughs> we <laughs> thought were going to crush. There's a... Uh, the cast is oddly great. The budget was this big, and the cast is this big, so it's... Snoop Dogg is the voice of a talking joint. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not too shabby. I mean, you kind of hit a home run yeah. there. All right. Hit a home run right there. That's all you need. That's yeah. all you need to really say. I want to show a clip. Here's Colson Baker in Good Morning. Take a look at this. Leo! What the f*** did you just do? London. What is this, dust? That's not dust. That's people, man. Homie, did you just break the dead grandma vase? Oh. We can fix this. I think that was actually the cousin that no one really liked, so. We gotta pick him up. Whoa. I'm a human remains, man. Dude, Leo. You did it. It's all good. It's all good. At least it was just one of them. I mean, it doesn't even look that bad, guys. That's exactly right. Tolson Baker, a.k.a. Machine Gun Kelly, everybody. Good Morning is in select theaters and on demand now. Catch him on tour this summer. Hey, hey, hey.